Alright, so today we're going to be replacing the PCV valve on uh, this 05 uh, Mazda 6. Uh, this is the uh, 3 liter V6. Um, so we're going to show you how to uh, take it off uh, and, uh, how to repl and then put a new one on. Alright, so um, we already have the plenum off. Uh, you a lot of people say that you don't have to take it off to replace it because the PCV valve is right here. But uh, we have our, P our uh, plenum off because while we're changing the spark plugs, uh, which I'll leave a link to the video um, in, up above and in the description, but uh, we found oil in the plenum. And uh, some signs that we were experience that we had were uh, signifying a bad PCV valve. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and replace it while it's nice and easy to get to. So what will happen is you'll have this hose here. Um, and there will be a little green tab on this side. That you will just, that you'll push this way. And when you do, you can wiggle the hose back and forth and pull up. And then the hose will pop off and you'll be left with that. Now from some research that I have done, this thing just wiggles out, but it's a little bit stiff, uh, so I don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to see if we can get it out. So I just got it out, uh, there will be a tab that looks like that, there will be one on both sides. Now, what you got to do is you got to push those up, okay? I use the screwdriver, you just push those up, and then you rotate it, you turn it to the left, so you turn it that way, now it only twists in there so far, it's, it, I, you only turn it probably halfway, and then you can pull it out, um, it's relatively easy, but it's obvious that this one's broken, because it's the inside is radly like crazy, so uh, sounds like a spray paint can. Um, but uh, so we're gonna get a new one. We're gonna put it in there. All right, guys. So I just went and picked up the new PCV valve. Um, they do supposedly sell two different uh, types of PCV valve for this uh, specific uh, three liter V6. And uh, so make sure you get the right one because they are uh, completely different and uh, the other one just will not work uh, for this one uh, from what I found. So now, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and come back here to where the hole is. I'll go this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll stick it in here. And remember since it, since it spins, you're going to make sure you twist it in the right way. Alright, so once you got it on there, you want to make sure that it is nice and uh, tight. Uh, it will have a, a tad bit of play in it, um, which is fine. Uh, you, you also want to make sure that since these, this does have tabs on it, remember I said there was two tabs, so one on each side, you want to make sure that they're both seated in the, uh, in the groove of the, uh, of the valve cover. So uh, I, I already checked all of that, it's nice and tight. So now I'm going to take the hose that I pulled off earlier. I'm going to go ahead and clip it right back onto the top here. And voila. There it is. It's on there nice and tight. And that's how you change your PCV valve. So now, I'll, so now I'm just going to put everything back together. And then I'll show you guys uh, how you would change it. Uh, well, I'll show you where you'd find it uh, when the when the whole engine is put together. All right, so I got the engine all back together. Um, so as I was gonna, uh, as I said, I'm gonna show you where you'd find that uh, uh, PCV valve with your engine was completely back together. Now, so the hose that's on the top of the PCV valve is this guy right here. Okay, 
So if you look, straight down there where, where that hose connects, you can see it right down there. It's the white thing. Right down there on the top of the valve cover. Now from some of the videos that I saw on how to, on how to change that, you can remove that guy right there. It's got a couple bolts in it. You can remove that and remove uh, this hose right here. And you'll you'll be able to get to it, and you can you're able to remove it that way. But because I was changing the spark plugs, I already had the uh, pulling them off, so it was just easier for me to do it. So there you guys go. So there you guys go. That's how you change the PCV valve in a three liter V6. It was uh, relatively simple, especially since I already had to pull them off to change the uh, spark plugs. But of course, I would have been able to do that without having to remove the plenum. But it was, it was a relatively easy process. You just got to make sure you get the correct PCV valve because there are a few of them uh, for this vehicle. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to it so you guys will be informed when I upload my next video. And don't forget to go and follow me on Instagram at Drive and Strive if you guys want to be informed before YouTube.